in about a month I'll be traveling the world and um, I wanted to share my packing system with you. I'm going to be carrying a PackSafe 45 liter pack, another one for a chest pack with a uh, what I term the essential items, whereas this is mainly going to be my clothes and uh, other big items. But this will hold my laptop. I really like PackSafe. It has a lot of security features. There's a wire mesh that goes through the entire body of it, so it prevents against slashes. Like a typical scenario is a thief will distract you and their partner will slice the back of your backpack and then um, things will fall out or they'll reach in and grab stuff. So this prevents that. There's also um, an ingenious uh, locking mechanism where all the zipper pulls, they connect to each other but then they also go to a central hub where you can attach a lock. So if you don't have a lock it has a sort of like something that you know it would take someone a little bit of time to figure out but you flip the switch and pull it back and then your zippers come out and then you disconnect zipper pulls and then it opens. There's an outside pocket but I don't really use it and the reason that I don't use it is because there are airline restrictions to be under a certain size and it's something like um, let's see, 9 inches by 14 across and then 22. If you get the 45 liter pack safe uh, backpack it measures exactly that as long as you don't overstuff it. If I put stuff in this outer pocket besides maybe travel papers or a passport or something like that there's a chance that you would exceed the size limit. I've exceeded size limits before in the past and I've had to check my bag and I don't like to do that. I got this specifically so that it would fit those dimensions and I could take it with me anywhere. The other thing I like about it Okay, it has these compression straps to also make sure that you're within the 9 inch width. And they have these latches on both sides. The other thing I like is that it opens up completely. And what you'll see is what I'll be bringing. Right now I have um, these Chacos, but I'll probably exchange them for uh, Shamash sandals since they're thinner and lighter. I have my uh, towel, just a bag of electronics. I use these Eagle Creek uh, packing cubes just to hold stuff. Another one, you know, a dab kit. But I don't keep my liquids in there, I keep it in my smaller uh, black bag. I'm an avid rock climber and so I'm gonna bring my shoes. I have a silk traveler insert. You can use it as a blanket or if they already have blankets you can have a, it's kind of a protection against what you don't know about. My nightmare is bed bugs and so hopefully this will help prevent that. But in the cases where hostels rent um, blankets, well in a pinch, especially in a warm environment, I can just use this. This is cool, a lightweight bag that opens up to I think it's um, 20 liters. And I'll show that separately. So in these three compression bags are all my clothes. Pants, anything that goes in the lower part of my body, then the upper part of my body, and then miscellaneous like uh, coats and things. What I do is I put the packing cubes inside the compression bag. So this is the size it is when it's uncompressed, and then this is the size when it gets compressed. So it's quite a bit smaller. You can see that it's like half the size. I use extra small compression bags from Sea and Summit. The reason I use the extra small is because when you pack it down it gets to a certain um, circumference. When you use the extra small it won't exceed nine inches. Remember we want to keep under the airline limits. If I use a small then it, be, it gets too big. Or if I had just one large one, it would just make this huge lump once I compressed it. So that's the reason I separate into three different compartments. But I put each in a cube first for organization. So once I get to my destination, I can just lay it out and it's already organized. Uncompressed, you'll see I have two of these of this size. Basically they're all the same size, it's just a different color. If I had them in my luggage uncompressed, I could fit them in there, but that's all I could fit. So I use the compression bags to both compress them to half their size, so I'll have room for other things that I can put inside this backpack. 
One thermal waterproof jacket from Outdoor Research. I have an ex officio college shirt. It's sink washable and dries fast. Um, I think it even has an SPF of like 30 or something. Here's another shirt that has a little hoodie in the back. So two long sleeve shirts, waterproof jacket, a flannel just in case, and then two t-shirts. Like everybody else, I use uh, merino wool, smart wool, you know, Anatomica, Wooly, there's several companies that do it. So I'll have one of these and then I'll have a, another shirt that I'm wearing. So that's one cube. Okay, second cube is my bottom. Thermal pants, or long johns or tights, whatever you want to call them. Zip-offs. Uh, these are the only zip-offs that I would ever wear. And this really unobtrusive um, zipper, or zip-offs, you really don't notice them. They look like basically regular pants unless you really know what these are or looking real closely at them. So that's my one concession to um, zip-off pants. I wasn't going to get some zip-offs because I think they scream traveler, but um, these I would wear anytime. You know, they're easily washable, they dry fast, they're convertible, they look good, good pockets, just an all-around great pants. But I also have uh, another pair of pants that are lighter colored that I'm wearing, and then some swimming trunks that can also pass as, you know, regular shorts, board shorts. Two pants, one in the pack, one I'm wearing, an extra pair of shorts, the pants convert to shorts, and some long johns tights for when it gets cold. Third one. This is a light down parka. It stuffs into its own um, pocket. It is also an outdoor research, but super light, super compressible. I'm not exactly sure uh, what environments I'll be in as I travel the world. In Chile, it might get cold. I'm going to Patagonia. So this with thermals and t-shirt, I should be good. Four pairs of underwear. Four socks. So that's kind of the miscellaneous bag. These locks are great. Basically there's a red indicator at the top that will pop up and then you'll know that they opened it up. It's just an extra security feature. Like I, I'd like to know if the TSA has opened it and then I can check to see if you know something's missing. <laughs> Dop kit with electric toothbrush, charger for the toothbrush, uh, Q-tips, your sunscreen, tooth powder, really great, Primal Life tooth powder. It's just, um, basically it's an all natural toothpaste. It doesn't have fluoride, all natural. Lasts a long time, just a little bit. You, you wet your brush, you put it in here, and then you brush your teeth. And I have earplugs. This is uh, by Wall. Basically, this is a, a beard trimmer. Since, you know, I have a little goatee at the moment. It's basically pen sized. It uses uh, AA batteries, rechargeable, and I'm bringing a recharger just to trim things up. And it can trim pr pretty closely. So I can use this basically as a razor. Okay. And this is uh, some miscellaneous things. I have um, this black diamond uh, headlamp. It's the smallest one I could find. And it uses a, a single double A, I believe. It's great. Bright and then super bright. It even has a red light if you don't want to lose your night vision at night. So in a small package, this is the best uh, headlamp that I have. And I got a stair pen. You just put this in water, turn it on. And depending on the size, like one liter, I think this can sterilize up to two liters. It gets rid of all the nasty bugs. I have a separate filter for if I don't know the origin of the water. But in a pinch, I can put this in a glass of water and sterilize it. And then I have a um, battery charger that charges both double A's and triple A's. And then I have a backup drive. This is a ruggedized, let's see, one terabyte drive just to, as extra insurance. I'll back up everything on on iCloud, but I'll also have it backed up here. Okay, back to this tiny package, which you see is about the size of my palm. 
again, Sea to Summit, I'm kind of a, I love the products that Sea to Summit make, and I also like pack safe bags. And so you see, it's a backpack. So when you're going to the market and you don't want to bring your you know, heavier bag, you can just bring this in a little pocket, go to the market, grab some things, and then put it in here, and take it home. Everyone should have a light pack. Um, these come in really handy. It's another pack safe bag. So when I go to the airport or the bus station or the train station, I'll wear this in front. It's fine, it, it's not huge. And it has all the safety features too. It has an outer pocket in here. And basically this is my essentials. So let's say my big bag gets taken because it's slightly over the limits because uh, the 9 by 14 by 22 is sort of a standard but not in all cases. So I check it, whatever happens I lose it but it's somewhat okay because I have everything that I consider an essential here. I can replace clothes, I can replace a small bag, basically all the things I can live without my bigger bag. I mean it would suck bad but I could live without it. Let's look at this outer pocket. I have a, um, since I have multiple electronic devices, I can just use the American side, put it in, uh, and then I can charge three different devices off of it. I have a collapsible water filtration system. Bose headphones. You turn on the power on this and it silences noise all around you. It's a noise cancelling uh, headphones. And it comes in a pretty tiny package. Uh, this uh, power station so basically it has a, uh, a USB you charge this up and then you can recharge other devices and um, I just have one with one of these I'll get it charged right before I'll leave for the airport and um, and you know if my iPhone needs an emergency charge I can just plug it in and I can charge it twice or if I have um, I want to charge up my Kindle or something like that I have a micro stand for my iPhone I have a larger lock for lockers a little bit more secure than the small travel ones. And then I have the power source for my um, my MacBook Pro 13 inch. Okay, now it's cool because these zippers, you can zip them close and then you can tuck them into this little loop and it makes it just harder for someone to just, they can't just simply grab and pull, they'll be stuck. So these bags all have these sort of like um, really well thought out features and you can lock the main compartment. So open that up. What's in your bag? My liquids, shampoos, shampoo and conditioner combination, uh, toothpaste, things like that. Things that I have to take out. So it's right at the top. Also right at the top is an eye mask. This is nice and padded, love that. This is what I consider essential for long-haul flights. This is a, um, a neck pillow, and I'll show that after. I do carry a first aid kit. Basically, it's the smallest one I could find. It has stuff for, you know, typical traveler ailments, like diarrhea, for example. But it also has stuff like uh, sleep aids, aspirin-type NSAIDs. A travel wallet, but I don't use it as a travel wallet. This is an extra one I had. And this holds all of my wires. Okay, so this is a laptop um, cable that I can secure my um, laptop. There's a micro USB in this pocket. Really obvious in this mesh thing. It's for charging my iPhone, etc. Basically USB, and I can put in micro USB, you know, anything that takes a USB um, entry. And then the exit, this one's for the iPhone. The reason I stuck on my uh, cables in here is that it keeps it nice and tidy and I don't have to buy one of those cable organizers. And then this is a headphone splitter. Say you have a neighbor next to you and you say, hey, I want you to check out this, uh, this piece of music that I have. Or check out this video that I have. You know, you can watch a movie. If you travel, you can uh, download movies from uh, Netflix, TV shows. And with these suckers, uh, you can share them with your neighbor and without disturbing everybody else. Just plug in your headphones in here, and away you go. Let's see here, sunscreen, deodorant. <clears throat> this is a crystal body deodorant stick. And 
this really works. These crystals, I had my doubts at first, since it's just, it's basically just a crystal. And it's aluminum free if you just put a little water on it, put it in your underarms, and then it prevents that. Look for a crystal body deodorant stick. Recommend it. Since it's not liquid, I don't have to put it in my liquid bag. Kindle paper white. I like to play chess, so I have a little travel chess kit. And in here, basically I have a range extender for Wi-Fi. So if the, um, let's say the Wi-Fi router is located really far away, I can use one of these guys. It's fairly compact, like everything breaks down, that's what I like about it. It's, it doesn't stay in the, a big package. Plug that in, plug this in, and this has a great range. You can pick up Wi-Fi signals through walls. You could be 100 feet away from the router and it'll be as if you're next door. I pick up in my bedroom, like 30 feet away, through at least two walls, and I get like a 94% signal of my neighbor's uh, network. And this is a bros trend, and I'll have a link below. And then my MacBook Pro, I have an addition of a, um, where I can add the security cable. So this is a Sawyer mini filter, and then we have this um, collapsible bag. Essentially, you would fill this with water, attach the Sawyer thing, the filter, open up the end plug, and you can start sipping away. And all your water will be um, bacteria, sediment free uh, through this. Or you could fill it with water, put this filter on, squeeze the bag in, into a glass, and then just drink it. You know, a normal glass of water. I thought it worth it just to get something like this. I don't always want to buy bottled water. I'd like to save the environment a little bit, do my part, if you know what I mean. As promised, I'm going to show you the neck pillow. I tell you, you get, you get this neck pillow, an eye mask, earplugs, you get some sleeping aids, sleeping pills, and all of a sudden a 14 hour trip, long haul airline flight is nothing. You can sleep upright. So unlike other neck pillows, this is totally wrap around. You might notice at least what, when I try to sleep upright, my, my neck will drop and I'll do like the, the neck bob. And um, this will prevent that. You can actually have a good night's sleep when you're sleeping at an airline seat um, angle when you put your seat back. It also comes with its own bulb so you don't hyperventilate <laughs> when you fill it up. So essentially you open up this valve. Fill it up. Then you tighten the valve. Basically it wraps around and supports your neck. You can make it as stiff or as soft as you like. Get this, your earphones, put your eye mask on, Betty bye. 14 hours on the plane, no problem. I did this on the trip to uh, Thailand that I took a few few years ago and uh, it worked wonders. And that, my friends, is what's in my pack. As you see, I have, uh, I think, the perfect setup, but uh, I'm open to being enlightened. I hope you found this useful. I'll have links to all and more information on the products below. I'll see you out in the world.